guys, Big Dog B back out here at the range again. And today we are going to be shooting the EA Vindicator 4 inch barrel. Uh, what I'm actually going to be doing, and you're not really going to be seeing this a whole lot because I've realized this is just boring. Uh, plus, I didn't bring my extra tripod. Uh, I have my chronograph, and we're going to chronograph some loads for or through the uh, EAA Vindicator because at some point I may want to consider using this in IDPA SSR, the stock service revolver. So I have worked up a, a couple of loads here using uh, 158 grain uh, jacketed soft points. Um, look like that. And we're going to give these a try at different, uh, different powder strengths, see what we can come up with and see what, uh, what, ma what, makes, uh, what makes the grade. What I'm going to do is I'll, I'll do this, I'll do the shooting, and then I'll come back and report to you how it went. All right? See you guys in, a, in just a few minutes. All right, guys, so I just finished up shooting the uh, EAA Vindicator 4-inch with some of my hand loads. Uh, none of my hand loads made power factor. Uh, power factor for SSR with 158 grain bullet is around 800 feet per second, it's like 791, something like that. Uh, best I did was about 650 with 4.2 grains of uh, Winchester 231. Uh, I say around 250 because unfortunately I ended up shooting one of my rods. It happens. Uh, this isn't the first time. In fact, it happened twice today. Well, I was doing a, a test of some factory ammunition to get a baseline. I ended up then shooting one of the rods. Here's the problem. Well, you see what's behind me. Snow. The rods are aluminum. What color is aluminum? Gray. About the same color as the freaking snow. So, we lost one rod. I used another one and was able to get through most of my loads there. On the last one, when I was shooting my, uh, my highest loads uh, possible, the 4.2 grains of 231, I ended up shooting one of the replacement rods. That's now also in the snow. I'm gonna have to wait until spring to see if they come out. Nonetheless, I already lost one of my extensions at one point, so I'm gonna have to call shooting uh, Crony and get replacements anyway. So, um, some of those loads actually feel really good from a, uh, a practice standpoint and a much slower standpoint. I mean, the slowest load that I had was around 480 feet per second. I mean, you could probably walk faster than that. I mean, you really can't, but you get the idea. So, um, we definitely need to work on these loads a lot more. I need to call Shooting Crony and get some more freaking rods. And we're going to uh, have to uh, get this out uh, to the range just a little bit more. Uh, also, coming up today, and as soon as I'm done here, I am actually heading down to uh, Philly. I know, why would I want to go to Philly? Um, <laughs> But uh, for those that know, I've been able to find, un unable to find any holsters for this particular handgun. So I am actually going to go to Philster, P-H-L-S-T-E-R.com. Uh, there, the shop is in Philly, and uh, I'm going to have him make a, a custom uh, holster for me. Also on uh, YouTube, he's Philly EDC, so I'm going to do a video on that, of me going down to the shop and him making a custom holster for my EAA Vindicator uh, four inch barrel. So thanks guys for watching. I'm sorry that this did not work out the way I wanted it to. Uh, I gotta stop shooting the stupid rods. That's what it boils down to. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.